what's up everybody welcome to the true trading group live stream hope everybody had a fantastic weekend and everybody enjoyed their little day off and had a wonderful independence day and i hope that you all have all 10 of your fingers back to work here this week kind of a really crazy day here in the open markets we started off with a big gap down and then technology stocks took us higher in the face of a whole lot of recession talk how could that possibly be how could everybody be talking about a recession and the markets actually went higher today we're going to break it down and explain to you exactly what took place in the markets today and we've got some important pieces of information that are going to be coming out here the rest of the week you got fed minutes tomorrow what does that mean for the markets you got a jobs number on friday what does that mean for if we're in a recession or not we're going to talk about all of it folks my name is michael edward I've been trading and investing for over 15 years, began my career working for a fund in New York City. It was my first job right out of college. And then a year later, 2008, the great financial crisis and the stock market crash. But not only did I survive that, thrived receiving one of the firm's Trader of the Year awards. Now, 15 years later, I'm the head trader of True Trading Group, the fastest growing and highest rated online premium education platform that is available today. And since 2016, my team of eight other professional trading mods and myself have helped thousands of traders from all over the world, from all walks of life, achieve their goals. Make no mistake, you're all on this live stream for one very simple reason, to get the information and knowledge that can help you make money in the stock market immediately. So take a moment right now, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, make sure you share this on your own social media, share this entire stream. Let's reach out, educate, and empower as many retail traders as we possibly can, folks. We got a great live stream in store for here today. Let's see what topics, what segments do we have? We're going to break this down into three different segments here tonight in this live stream. Segment number one is called I Spy. I Spy with my little eye. Where I'm going to break down for you exactly what happened in the overall markets um, today and what I expect to happen for the rest of the week. Then we're going to break things down to the most commonly asked questions. Okay, so every day we take questions that we see on social media, questions that we see inside of our chat room, questions that we see just the retail trader and investor are asking. We're going to break down some of those top most commonly asked questions. I'm going to answer them for you. And then we're going to get into a segment called If I Traded It, where I'm going to talk about five of the top trending stocks in the market today. And we're going to go over levels, support, resistance, where you want to be a buyer, where you want to be a seller. And then we have all of that bigger stuff to talk about as well. Like what goes on with the over markets? Are we in a recession? Is the recession coming? Is it here already? We're going to break that all down. You got five minutes tomorrow. There's a lot to pack, unpack here. There's a lot to talk about and it all affects your money. So let's move on. Let's not waste another second, folks. All right, let's go ahead right now and let's get into segment number one. I spy. All right, folks. So here we have it. Kind of our first little segment here. I spy. All right. What happened with the overall markets today? Just, just a really weird looking candle formation here on the daily chart. We are exactly where we closed on Friday. Okay. So that's basically what happened today. The markets gapped down shot right to where we closed on Friday and then just stopped, All right? And that's where we now currently sit. Now we came into the day with a pretty sizable gap down as more and more people are coming to the realization that a recession is inevitable, if not here already. And that kind of gave you a bit of a gap down in the overall market. So it's like Europe is probably already in a recession and then US, if you're not in one already, not too far behind it which is not anything to scare anybody about. You should not be worried, scared, or frightened. This is something that we've been talking about, expecting in the markets for the last several months, okay? So what we have here in the overall markets, and we get down here and talk about the SPY, what I believe happened today is that that flight to safety, as more people are starting to think about a recession, okay, So as more people start talking about a recession, what happens? Investors flock to safety. Okay. So when investors flock to safety, they go and they buy bonds, U.S. bonds, treasuries, right? It's basically, you know, you're owning debt in the U.S. government. Okay. The U.S. government, government always pays their, always pays their bills. So investors will go in the face of a recession and they go and they buy bonds. Now, 
that actually drives the the yield that those those bonds will will give and that those treasuries will pay it drives them down so in order for you to go and buy a bond the u.s government has to say okay well, we're going to pay you a 3.4 percent interest rate okay investors like that but as more people buy bonds that interest rate that the bond pays actually goes down so your interest rate let's say went from 3.4 on a 10-year treasury now it's all the way down to 2.8 that's a significant drop in the 10-year treasury i actually didn't see where it closed the day but we dropped back down around 2.8 give or take a couple points either way okay that drop is what happens as more people buy bonds okay that flight to safety brings yields down because the government doesn't need to entice investors okay as with a higher interest rate if everyone's buying it, if the demand for bonds are high but when the demand for bonds are low okay that's when interest rates will then start to climb to entice investors to buy them that drop in yields in my opinion just triggered a bunch of algorithms to buy technology stocks today that's what i think okay technology stocks got absolutely crushed in 2022 absolutely crushed and they got crushed mostly because interest rates were rising substantially quickly significantly in 2022 rising interest rates are bad for tech stocks okay i'm not going to get into a whole explanation on why that is i, I went over that on live streams earlier this year when we initially started the sell-off why i was bearish on tech to begin the year so i won't get into you know why rising interest rates are bad for tech stocks but rising interest rates are bad for tech stocks so when you just had this recent drop in yields I think it just triggered a lot of algorithms to step in and start to buy some of these tech names. And I think today was an algorithmic driven, just stepping in and buying tech stocks because you had the NASDAQ was substantially stronger than the other areas of this market. The SPY barely finished green by 0.09%. The Dow is still significantly in the red as the recession fear has kind of come forward and has come to light now. I would not be the absolute least bit surprised if tomorrow we actually take back a huge portion of today's move. But the Fed is going to have a lot to do with that because tomorrow you've got the Fed, the Fed minutes are going to be released. Investors are going to get a sense of what is the likelihood that we're going to get another 75 basis point hike in the month of July, because don't forget July 27th, I believe is the date of our next Fed meeting. So you're going to get another round of interest rate hikes on July 27th. Is it another 75? Or is it 50? The economic data is showing that the economy is heading towards a recession. So the Fed may not want to be as aggressive as they initially thought and go 75. In Commodity prices have all come down substantially over the last month. Oil has gotten absolutely crushed. Oil went back underneath $100 a barrel today for the first time in a while. Natural gas prices have gone down. Okay. Everything that you guys that we're talking about that causes inflation is actually seeing all of that inflationary pressures come down. So I think the Federal Reserve is not going to give you necessarily 75 basis points at your next Fed meeting, but you're going to get a lot of insight into that tomorrow with the Fed minutes. Okay. So what I think you're going to probably see here with the SPY is this 381.50 level that we see here on the SPY that's been resistance for the last four trading days. Okay. I think that level, if that level cannot be broken tomorrow, if tomorrow we open up, let's say tomorrow you open at 379.50, I think you have to look to buy puts against 381.50, 382, and then look for us to take back a huge portion of the day today. If you gap over that level tomorrow, if you gap above 382, then you would just look for 382 to be supported. And then it's possible this market, this bounce could take you a little bit higher. My initial thoughts, okay, are that we stay underneath that level. Those are my initial thoughts. I really think that today's action was just algorithmic driven because of the drop in treasury yields and that brought buying into tech 
which held the overall market higher because tech is the largest component within the S&P 500. So with tech being strong, with interest rates coming down, I think that you just saw some algorithmic buying and some bottom feeders stepping in to buy tech stocks. Let's see if that disappears tomorrow. If that disappears tomorrow, then I'm looking to just buy puts and I'm probably going to hold those puts for at least the next one, one to two weeks and look for us to break 373 and move back down into the 360s. But if I get a gap up tomorrow above that 382, that's the only way that I'm not going to be bearish coming into the day. Now, tomorrow pre-market, I'll be in chat with my members, obviously, before the market's open and we'll go over what the markets are doing and if I'm bullish or bearish coming into the day. But I'm telling you guys this now, if we gap above 382, that's the only way that I'm not going to be looking to buy put options as soon as we step into the day and the market's open tomorrow morning. If we open underneath, like if we're 380, 379.50, I'm looking to attack tomorrow and put options. All right, next question or next segment rather, sorry. So guys, our next segment that we are going to move on here all right, is going to be segment number two, which is going to be the most asked questions. Okay, most asked questions. That's what we're going to unpack here now. We go through a lot of different questions that people have. Okay, um, and that's what we're going to be discussing right now. All right, hold on one second. All right, guys, so these are questions. Um, this is, these are questions that we get a lot from not just members themselves, but from uh, people that are not members of True Trading Group. These are people that message us on social media. You guys want, you can follow me on Twitter. It's at Mike Edward underscore TTG. It's at Mike Edward underscore TTG. I'm always giving you guys market commentary analysis and different trade ideas and positions that I have open on there. If you guys want to go and check it out. Um, so we're going to go through, I'm going to answer five of what are we are seeing are some of the most commonly asked questions. First, are we in a recession right now? If so, should people hold on aggressively to their cash? Now, what you're starting to see is the conversation about a recession has drastically been increasing. Even people that thought we were going to avoid a recession are now talking about we are going into recession. Some people now are even saying that we're already in a recession. The Atlanta Fed actually came out and the Atlanta Fed estimates that we are going to get a negative 2% GDP number for Q2. If you get a negative 2% number or you get a negative anything number for Q2, that is a recession. You already got a negative 1.6% GDP number for Q1. The technical definition of a recession is two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. That is the technical definition of a recession. You already got one. The Atlanta Fed predicts that you're going to get a second. So once you get your second, the, the technical definition of a recession is in place and the clock starts. Of We are now in a recession. If you are already in a recession, that's actually a very good thing. And if should people be holding on to cash aggressively, in my opinion, absolutely not. The sooner that you go into a recession, the faster you come out of it. And I've been saying all year that I think that we are going to go into a recession. I just don't think it's going to be a deep one. I think it's going to be shallow. I think it's going to be short lived. So if we're actually in a recession already, that actually means that we got the recession even sooner than I was expecting us to. But that means your time is really running out. That, that means your time is running out because if you're already in the recession, guys, the jobs market is still extremely strong, extremely strong. Okay. You still have unemployment below 4%. Okay. You still have unemployment below 4%. So if you're already in recession and unemployment is 3.7, 3.8%, that's incredible. I think this recession is going to be a GDP recession, not necessarily a jobs recession. The labor market's too tight. Jobs are still way too plentiful. I don't see this being a bad recession as long as people have their jobs. Okay. That's why I think this is going to be a very short lived recession. If you, if you have a job and you've got cash, my opinion, now is the time to be putting it to work in the markets because 
markets do all of their heavy lifting and markets do all of their damage going into a recession. The markets have already gone down more than 20% this year. The S&P has. If we are already, in fact, in a recession, that's going to help commodity prices come down. It's going to help asset prices come down. It's going to help inflation come down. Commodity prices have already gotten crushed in June, which means the Fed can be less aggressive now, raising interest rates for the rest of the year because they don't have to necessarily fight inflation as much if all of these commodity prices are coming down. Oil back underneath 100, that's great. If we're already in a recession, oil probably goes further and drops down into the 80s if you're already in the recession. That's going to bring prices down at the gas station, at the pump. It's going to bring down prices at the grocery store. It's going to bring down prices in the real estate market. It's going to bring down all of these inflationary pressures, which would allow the Fed to be less aggressive which would allow, in my opinion, the markets to bounce going into the end of the year, which is what I've been calling for all year. When you take a look, and if we go back, all right, if, if we go back, all right, all the way back, and I keep using this example, but I need to keep showing it to you. I have to keep showing you guys this example because in 2008, okay, we went into a recession. The worst recession that any of you have ever seen. Okay, worst recession that you've ever seen. We sold off aggressively in 2008. Okay, aggressively in 2008, going into the recession. 2009, we were in the heart of the recession, right? We were still in the, the depths of the recession, but yet the market went up 22%, over 20% gain. Okay, over 20% gain in 2009. All right, over 20% in 2009. This is what I'm talking about. The markets sell off going into the recession. They bounce as you come out of it. Look at what the market did in 2009 and 2010. And I can take this back. We can go back even further. I can take you back to the, the double dip recession that we had in the, in the 1980s. In the, in the 1980s, we had actually a double dip recession between 1980 and 1982. We had a recession from January of 1980 until July of 1980. The markets went up like 14% coming out of that. Then in 1981 to 1982, we had another recession. The markets went up about, I think it was a little over 20% coming out of that. Now you take a look at this, 2008 to 2009, you had another recession. The markets went up 20 over 20% in 2009, not 2010, 11, 12, 13. By then, the markets were back to all-time highs. So the market sells off first. The market will bottom way before the economy comes out of a recession. The bottom always gets put in while you are in the recession, which is why I'm telling you, if we are in fact in a recession right now with unemployment under 4%, sure. Can unemployment take up slightly higher from here? Yes. But if you're in a recession now, that means that the bottom is happening right now. That the bottom is going to take place throughout the month of July. If you get confirmation that we are in a recession right now. Now you have to start looking at what is the recovery out of the recession look like? This is exactly what we have been saying. This is what I have been saying all year. All year I've been saying, I think the market's bottom in the summer and bounce going into the end of the year. This is why True Trading Group members are making money. They are prepared for this. We've been talking about this all year. And it's literally happening now right before your eyes. It's happening right now, guys. If you're already in the recession, then the Fed's not going to give you 75 basis points at their July meeting. It's not. They're not going to give you 75 basis points at their July meeting if you're already in a recession. Maybe they give you 50. But if you're in a recession, that's going to help inflation come down. 
if inflation comes down and if you are actually able to be, this is what I think is going to happen. I think you're going to have a technical definition based on GDP. Yes. Did our GDP contract for two consecutive quarters? Yes. Can it contract for a third? Yes. But I don't think you're going to get a jobs recession. The stock market might feel like, or the crypto market might feel like there's a recession, but you go out to a restaurant, you go talk to people that are really, they have their jobs, they're safe at their jobs, they're not concerned about losing their jobs, they're still bringing in the money. They don't think that there's necessarily, yeah, they hate paying $6 a gallon for gas, sure. They pay $13 at the grocery store for a piece of bread, sure. But this is what I mean by the recession will be short-lived. Now is not the time, in my opinion, to be cheap and hoarding on to cash. Because if the recession's here now, then that means that we're going to be coming out of this and you're going to bounce going into the end of the year. And then 2023, if you don't get a double dip on that recession, then you're talking about all-time highs by 2024. Exactly what I've been saying the entire year and that entire playbook. So far, we've been spot on all year. I told you the end of last year, we're selling in our long-term portfolio. I think the market's going to crash in 2022. I've been saying that all year. Okay. I've been saying it all year. All year, I've said, don't buy the dip. Don't buy the dip. Don't buy the dip. We're going lower. We're going lower. We're going lower. But guess what? I told you June 17th, I bought a bunch of stuff. I bought 20 different stocks in my long-term portfolio on June 17th. Go watch my live stream from June 17th. It's happening right now. I cannot make myself any more crystal clear about this, guys. Next question. Why do the overall markets bounce back so hard if everyone thinks we are in a recession? Okay, so I kind of talked about this a little bit earlier, but this is, again, very, very, very common question that we had today because a lot of talk today about recession of the two and 10-year yield curves inverted, the two and five-year yield curves inverting. You know, those are, you know, big signals of a recession. So everyone's talking about recession, recession, recession. Why would the markets go up today, right? And I talked about this a little earlier on the live stream. You guys I think today was just an algorithmic buying of, of technology stocks today because you had such a drastic drop in treasury yields, you know, the 10 year back to two eight. And I think that that has triggered some algorithmic buying to come in and buy tech. Tech was extremely strong today. And I think it had a lot to do with algorithms that are triggered by a certain percentage drop in, in, in treasury yields. And then they step in and start to buy tech stocks. You've had a big drop in treasury yields as the recession discussion has started to catch fire. And that's bringing a flight to safety into bonds that brings the treasury yield of the yield of those bonds down. And that I think triggered an algorithmic buying of technology today. And since technology is the largest component of the S and P 500, when you get a day where tech is extremely strong, it's very difficult for the spy and the S and P 500 to significantly move lower because the largest component and the S&P is a weighted index. The largest component is technology. Your Apples, your Microsofts, your alphabets of the world, right? They are in the technology sector of the S&P. So when they're strong, it's, t it's hard for the S&P to really sell off. And that's why I think the markets moved higher today. You'll notice that the Dow was extremely weak. The Dow, which is everything else, your industrials, your transports, your financials, everything else, right? They were very, very weak. It was just tech was the only thing that was strong today. A little bit of strength in some vaccine names too. NVAX had a good day. Tay Moderna had a good day. But all of your tech stocks, that's what was strong today. It was Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Meta, Alphabet had a huge day today. Spotify, Shopify, Snowflake, Roblox, Carvana. These are the stocks that moved higher today. All the stocks that got crushed this year as interest rates went up, now that interest rates are going down, when I say interest rates, I'm not talking about the Fed. I'm talking about treasuries. As interest rates go down, I think algorithms came in and bought them. And that's why I'm saying if we gap down tomorrow, I'm still looking on puts. The only way I'm thinking long is if we gap above 382 and that level starts to act now as a level of support for the SPY. That's the only way that I'm thinking about call options. I want to see if today's move actually gives you follow through tomorrow. Next question. 
again, folks, I, I don't do not think this is the time to hoard cash. The fortune favors the bold folks. You want to be greedy when others are fearful. And when everybody is talking about a recession and being fearful, that is when you guys want to be able to step in. I'm telling you guys this now. Why is it important to pay attention to the Fed minutes tomorrow and what time are they released? Okay. The Fed minutes come out tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. All right. I'll be in chat live with my members to walk you through the announcement. Why is it important to listen to the Fed minutes? Because now that here's how you have to look at this earlier this year, Everybody was saying the economy is so strong, the economy can handle the interest rate hikes. Uh, we're not going to go into a recession. I called BS on that all year. I told you all year, I think we're going, we're going to go into a recession. But everybody was calling for a hundred basis point hike from the Fed, right? You, you, you heard that discussion over the last couple of months. Then people are talking about, we got 75 last month. They're like, we're going to get another 75 in July. But that was still when everybody was under the impression that we're not going to go into a recession. Now that everyone is beginning to think that we're going into a recession, that may change. And if the Fed does not, I don't think the Fed is going to necessarily give you 75 basis points in July now. Commodity prices got crushed. So you should see a light inflation number for June. And if commodity prices continue to get crushed in July, as the recession fear continues, then that means inflation goes down again in July. You need to be in chat tomorrow because these Fed minutes, either in chat or on our mobile app, if you can't be in front of your computer, these Fed minutes are going to give you insight into where the Fed thinks we are for a possible 75 basis point hike in July. I think the markets also moved a little bit higher today because all this talk of recession now, and if we're in a recession already, people are starting to think that the Fed is not going to give you 75 basis points in July, that they're going to slow down. And if the Fed slows down, that can give markets room to breathe. And I think that's why the markets kind of moved higher a little bit today too, thinking that, well, if we're already in a recession, then the worst is behind us. If you're already in the recession. Guys, I'm a man on a mission right now to make money for all of our TTD members. And the month of July, I think is gonna be just so action packed. I think there's gonna be so much volatility. And we've been we've started adding in our long-term portfolios. My TG fam, you guys know the stocks that I've recently added in my portfolio. I added like 20 different stocks on June 17th. Um, but I'm gonna to continue to be buying more, okay? I'm gonna be buying more throughout the entire month of July. I'll let you guys know exactly when that happens, but this is why you guys need to get your butts in chat or you need to become, or you need to be logged into our mobile app. Tomorrow's going to be a big day with these Fed minutes coming out at two o'clock. If, if the Fed, if there's even the slightest inkling in that, in those minutes that we may not get 75 basis points, if, if we may not get 75 basis points, this market goes higher. So two o'clock is going to be a big, major, major catalyst for the markets and that's happening tomorrow. So you guys wanna make sure you get your butts in chat. Or like I said, use the mobile app. Even if you guys are at work and you can't be in chat or in front of a computer, don't worry about it, use the mobile app. As long as you have a cell phone, a smartphone, you have an, you have an iPhone, you have an Android, you can be logged into our chat from your phone and get push notifications whenever one of our mods enters or exits a trade. And you can even listen, you can turn on the audio and you can listen because the mods and I talk to you on a microphone during the day which we're going to be doing tomorrow, especially at two o'clock. Once those minutes come out, I'm going to walk you guys through that. Our chat room opens at 7.30 a.m. Eastern every single day. Next question. Should we take scary headlines with a grain of salt? No, that's not the question. So what question are we looking at here? Next question, folks. Let's see what we got. Okay. What other events are there in July that can impact markets that we just look out for? Okay. You have a lot of information coming out in July. There's a lot of catalysts. There's a lot of fundamental things at play. A lot of big picture stuff at play in the month of July. Now, listen. Everything that's going to dictate what this market's going to do for the next six months is going to happen this month everything. This is why I'm saying what I'm saying. July is going to be huge. 
everything the market needs an answer on, it's going to get in July. The markets hate uncertainty. As soon as the market gets answers to their questions, it can stabilize. You are going to get the answer to all of the questions that the market has been unsure about. You're going to get all of those answers in July. Now is not the time to be cheap and hoard cash. You're going to get Q2 earnings. Q2 earnings, I fully expect all of these companies to come out, revise their earnings, uh, revise their guidance down, and that's going to cause analysts to move their earnings estimates down, which will move stock prices down. You're going to get inflation data for June. I believe your inflation number in June, that's your CPI and your PPI number. I believe that information is going to show you that inflation has in fact peaked. And if inflation has in fact peaked, that's going to confirm the Fed does not need to be as aggressive as people might have thought that they were going to be. You also are going to get GDP numbers for, for, the, for Q2. Now, if you get a negative number in Q, for Q2, that confirms that we are indeed, in fact, in a recession right now. So if you get two answers. What are the two questions that the market has had the biggest time, the, the hardest time with so far this year? When is inflation going to stop? Are we going into a recession? Those are the two biggest questions that we have had all year. And nobody had the answer to those questions. It was, hey, the Fed's going to raise rates, but they say that the economy is strong enough um, that we, we're not going to go into a recession. They can pull off a soft landing. You've heard all these terms before in the media. There was never an answer to that. We're like, oh, well, we think we can do a soft landing, but we'll see. You know, like, oh, well, we think inflation is going to come down by the end of the, by the middle to end of the year, but we'll see. We didn't have answers to those questions. You're going to get those answers. CPI inflation number was 8.5 in April, was 8.6 in May, still moving higher. June, I think it's 8.4 or 8.3 as commodity prices get their heads taken off. July, I think it's 8.2, 8.1. Inflation starts coming down which then answers the question that the market has had all year. When will inflation peak? Well, if inflation comes down in June, that's going to give you your answer. Inflation peaked in May. So the worst of inflation is behind us. The other question the markets have been trying to figure out is, are we going to go into a recession? Can we hold off a recession? With as strong of the economy as we have, as tight of a job market as we have, even in the face of the Fed raising interest rates, can we stage off a recession? Well, if you get a negative GDP number for Q2, which that information comes out in July, that answers the question. It doesn't matter that you're in the recession or that you're not in a recession. You're better off. Get the recession. Get it over with now. Go into it now. Well, while, while the jobs market is still extremely strong and unemployment is under 4%, you want the recession because that's going to bring inflation down. But the jobs market is still strong. So everybody still has their job. Everyone's still got their paycheck. Everybody is still living their life and, and prices at the gas station are coming down and everybody's happy. I've been saying all year, I don't think this is going to be a bad recession. And if I'm, and, and if it turns out we're already in one, best case scenario that we could have. Forget about pushing the recession off till next year. Get it over with now. Well, unemployment is still 3.7%. Give me the recession now with, a, with an unemployment number under four. All of you that are waiting for your chance, your time in the markets, this could be it literally this month. This could be it because the market, if investors find out we're already in a recession, Inflation has peaked. The Fed's not going to be as aggressive as we thought they were going to be. Well, now the future doesn't look that bad now, does it? That's going to bring buying into this market. And then that pushes the spy back to 410, 415, 420. This is the exact playbook that I've written all year. And it seems like it's becoming coming to fruition. Next final question of this segment. How much money do we need to start with to take advantage of all of this? Great question. Okay. 
very common misconception is that people feel like they need tens of thousands of dollars in order to, um, for it to make sense for you to get involved in the markets. And that's the total wrong way of thinking. Please don't think that way. Um, please do not think that way. Because if you, if, if you wait until you have 10,000 or $25,000 saved up, you're, you're really selling yourself short. You only need, you know, a hundred bucks, 200 bucks, honestly, to get yourself started in the market. I mean, I'm just going by what our, our members, you know, teaching members are prime examples of this because a lot of our members started in their trading account with less than a thousand dollars. Okay. A lot of them started with, with less than, with less than a thousand bucks. Right. So I don't think that it's a very big common mis misconception and I'll, I'll prove it to you actually. So whoever was asking this question, I'll actually, let's ask members themselves directly guys real quick. If you are a member of true trading group and you started with less than a thousand dollars. Okay. After you joined, you had less than a thousand dollars in your account. Comment in chat real quick. If you don't mind, I want to just help out some people that, that think that, you know, they need a lot more money to get started than they do. Just comment, what did you start with? And then where are you now today? This is for members now. I just want those people that are out there because I get it. It could be, it could be, you know, frustrating when you say, oh, listen, I've only got 500 bucks. You know, you know, I, it's not worth it for me to get involved. Let me tell you something. We've got a lot of members in your trading group that have turned, you know, a couple hundred bucks into five figure accounts. You know, I'd rather have 500 bucks and no education whatsoever. I'm asking, I'd rather have 500 bucks and, and an education then have a million bucks with no education because without the education, you're going to lose it all just the same. You know, Dave P started with 800 bucks has now brought it up to over $12,000 just since this past November. So since November, Dave P went from 800 to 12,000. Diane started with just a hundred bucks and she's been able to pay bills ever since with the teaching education. Bruce started with 500 bucks, already made his membership feedback many times. Okay. So there you guys have it. Okay. So I hope that helps answer your question. All right. I hope that helps answer your questions. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed that segment. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that segment. Okay. That we're going to be moving right along. We're going to be moving right on to our next segment. That's called if I traded it, but first I want to tell you guys about how you can join true training group. Okay. And what you get and all about our 45% off sale, which is expiring at midnight tonight. Okay. So I want to go over this. I want to explain this all to you guys um, on how you can join true training group. And then, like I said, don't go anywhere because I'm going to spend about six minutes or so. I'll tell you guys how you can join the membership. And then we're going to get into this, new, the next segment. If I trade it, we're going to go over the five most common stocks or five most trending stocks. Carvana is one of them. I see a lot of questions from people about Carvana. Yes, Tesla is another one. We're going to talk about all these different stocks and I'll give you guys trade ideas and how you can trade those stocks going forward and what I think those stocks do over the next couple of days so you guys can position yourselves to make money on those names, okay? But first, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the membership. I want to ask real quick a question though. If you're on this live stream right now and you're not a member of True Trading Group, you're not a member, I'd like you to do me a favor and just real quick, type the letters TTG, please. Type the letters TTG if you are not a member of True Trading Group. I just want to see who we have here that's not a member. I know you might think it seems tedious, but let me just see who we have here. It helps me kind of get a gauge on who we have on the, on the live stream that's a member and who's not. So let's go ahead right now, guys. Type the letters TTG. Let's see. We got Star Lord. We got Richard Mason, Karen Menser. We got DDD. We got Steve, Linda. Linda C., welcome back. Welcome back. Rambling Rick, we got Erica Garrett, UAE, Raj, RS, David. Great guys, we've got a lot of new faces here. We have a lot of non-members that are with the Teachy fam. We've got Joseph, or Yosef, sorry, Mr. J Mr. Jeffis. Next 808 Gen Gaming, how are you? I feel like I've seen your username before. All right, guys, listen up. Well, everyone that's typing TGD, everyone here that's new, Okay, Jal Batista Russo, how are you? Everyone that's new, okay, I've got a couple more people that are coming through here. Queen of GM lies. I have two questions. First one is going to be for everyone that just typed TTG. If you're not a member of Two Trading Group, if you're not a member, I want to know 
how much money have you lost in the last 90 days or six months trading? Tell me, sound off in chat. Again, this is only for non-TTG members. If you guys have lost money in the last 90 to 180 days, so if you lost money in the last you know, six months, tell me how much that you guys have lost. Don't be shy. Don't be shy and don't be embarrassed about this. Everybody goes through their ups and downs. Do not be embarrassed about this. All right. Do not be embarrassed about this. Just feel free to share, guys. Okay. Joe Batista, 50%. Jason, 6,000. Mr. Jeffis, 40,000. Star Lord, I lost almost my entire 401k. 500 bucks. $40,000. 50% of my portfolio. $8,000. $16,000, $1,000. Okay. Now listen, 1,800 and that's in euros, 3,000 euros over a hundred thousand bucks, 3,500, 35,300. Okay. Guys, listen carefully. Okay. 2,500. I want to thank all of you for actually typing those numbers in chat because I know that's not easy. I know it's not easy to talk about this. Okay. I know it's not easy to talk about this. All right. But that's why you're here. That's why you're on live streams. That's why you're trying to find information You're trying to get educated. You want to learn from your mistakes, but you need to know what the mistakes were that you made in the first place. Now I want you to pay attention closely for this. Because now I'm talking to members of True Trading Group. Now, if you are a member of True Trading Group, I want you to tell me how much money that you've made over the last 90 to 180 days. Now, if you are a member of True Trading Group, how much have you made in the last 90 to 180 days? And again, don't be shy. I want you guys to sound off in chat right now. I'm talking directly to members of True Trading Group now. So the first question was for non-members. Now, the second question is for members directly, members of True Training. You guys tell me how you've done over the last 90 to 180 days. Adam J has made over $50,000. That's incredible. $3,000. 3,500. 2,000. 500 bucks in the last week. I just started. <laughs> Dave, because I already answered earlier. Yes, the. Dave, you did. Thanks for thanks for thanks for that as well. Okay. I'm down 20 bucks. First green week. 25,000. Keith Nelson, 35,000. Absolutely incredible. Like I said, folks, you know, not to not not being shy, right? And I, and I really I think it's important. Wow. Look at Mel, 20,000. Mango Tango, 6,200 since joining in March. 18,000 for CRISPR era. Okay. So you guys are seeing right now, how could it possibly be that when the markets are going down, that members are actually still able to see here and make money. That's because you have to guys have to understand how to make money when markets go down. Learning how to short, learning how to buy put options, learning all of these things. Okay. I've been a member for one and a half months. Overall, $10,000. Made $2,000 just today alone. $80,000 for Ar Aryan. Irene, conservatively, about $4,000 a month. Thanks to our tools and the education. Okay. So there you go. Right. So there you have it. Now, I want, to, I want to point this out to you guys because we have been talking about the markets got moving themselves to the downside here for the entire year of 2022. And now, listen, not everybody's killing it inside True Training Group. I'm not going to, um, you know, I'm not going to just pretend, oh, just because you joined True Training Group that you have, you're going to just, you know, absolutely kill it. And you're going to have 100% success rate. But we still do have, there's members in True Training Group that, that struggle. But that's why we have what are called red to green workshops. Now, it's important that I point this out because it's just as equally as important as it is that we talk about all the successes, it's equally as important to talk about for those people that struggle. But at TTG, we don't leave anyone behind. We leave no trader behind the true trading group. And that's why with these red chicken workshops, we actually let members that are, that are still struggling, okay, members, if you're still red, 
you can submit questions and topics to the moderators in two training group on what you're struggling with. And then we will actually hold two hour long workshops live to cover those topics and to cover those questions with all the members that are still struggling. So we leave no month, no, no trader behind inside two training group folks. All right. Like I said, I'm not going to come here and just, you know, blow smoke up your ass. We're fully transparent here in TTG. Always have been and always will be. You guys understand that when you guys join TTG, you're joining, it's like the Netflix of community of trading communities. This means you pay one price, you get immediate access to every single course that we have also $5,000 worth of tools. We are a platform. You're not just joining a chat room to get trade alerts. That's not just the sole purpose of two training groups, just to find out what are the alerts that I'm sending out or what are the alerts that other members are signing out. Yes, of course you get all of our alerts, but you're also getting $5,000 worth of tools that successful traders use that help them make better decisions. There's no upsells ever for courses and tools. You don't pay anything extra for this stuff. It's all included with your one year, your annual price for the whole year. At TTG guys, we've helped thousands of people just like you find consistency in every type of market condition. We place all, we, um, we place all the education tools and resources at your fingertips all of which is available and accessible 24 seven around your schedule, no matter how much time you have, or like most, no matter how much time you don't have. TTG was created and designed to work for you, no matter what your lifestyle is. And when I say lifestyle, I'm really talking about your work schedule. How much time can you actually sit in front of a computer screen? You don't have to be in front of your computer all day long in order to do this. You just, there's different trading styles and strategies that you're learning to training group that can allow you to enter trades, set stops, and just go to work. In addition to myself and eight other, there are eight other professional traders in your training group, each focusing on different kinds of styles and trading styles. Example, you guys want real fast, super high volatile, maybe small cap day trades with big upside potential. No problem. We trade small caps in two trading group. You're looking for option trades that can give you, you know, triple digit gains, 100, 200%, whatever it is. Yeah, we do those too. You're looking for crypto alerts without the BS rug pulls and all the different like crap, uh, crap crypto coin pumps. Okay, you're looking for real crypto trading and like Bitcoin, Ethereum. Yep, we do that too. Want like early morning futures trading and some pre-market analysis and trade ideas. I'm going to give you guys the best chance to make some money on the day. We've got that as well. Our chat room opens at 7.30 a.m. Eastern. And our mods are in there all morning giving you their watch list and their game plan and what they think this, that the market's going to do and what stocks they're watching and how they plan on trading them. And we're all sitting there looking for trades that you don't have to watch every single second of every single day. And swing trading, if that's you, if you don't can't look at a screen all day long, then swing trading is probably for you. And yep, we've got that too. Okay. I don't need to ask, guys. I know for a fact that all of you, I know for a fact all of you have been at your, your probably your desk or at the job site or whatever it is that you do for a living. And you thought, man, an extra couple hundred or a couple thousand bucks would really help me right now. Everyone listening, close your eyes with me right now. And I want you to imagine this with me. Imagine right now, let's do seriously do it. It'll be a fun little exercise. Let's do this. Imagine you're at work right now. Okay. You get a swing trade alert on your TTG mobile app. It's free. The app is free, right? You get a notification on your phone. One of the TTG traders has just entered a swing trade. You decide that that's a trade that you would also like to enter. So you do, you take your position, you set your stop loss, you go about your day. And then a couple of days later, you get another alert through that mobile app that says that the TTG trader has exited that position. You decide to exit as well. And you've got a boom, a nice little solid profit there on your day. You just made a couple extra hundred or a couple extra thousand bucks. Now, is that guaranteed? No, no, it's not. Nothing in life is guaranteed except death and taxes and they both suck. Okay. But is it possible? Is it realistic? Absolutely. And it happens all the time with inside of True Trading Group. True Trading Group's annual membership would normally cost you $2,212 for the year. But right now, as part of our sale that expires midnight tonight, you can actually save 45% off the 2212. It brings the price down to just 11, 11, $1,197 for the entire year. And the price that you pay tonight is the price that you're going to pay for life. Next year, when the price is more, it doesn't matter. You're only going to pay the $1,197. And that's a big deal because 78% of our members renew their membership after their first year. 78% of our members renew their membership. That's why locking yourself in at an 1197 price point before the price goes moves higher next year, our membership could be 2,500 bucks next year. It doesn't matter. We're only going to pay the 1197 to renew. And like I said, with 78% of our user base renewing their membership at the end of the year, that's a lot of money that you're saving into next year. 
It's a lot of money that you guys are saving into next year. All right. And as part of our current sales, we're sweetening the deal for you guys. Go to ttgoffer.com right now. You will see that the price says 2212. You have to manually enter the coupon code TTG121 and then click apply code or hit enter. The price will then adjust to 1197. You'll notice that we're going to be giving you a brand new Asus, HP, Acer, Dell, or Lenovo laptop. No, you do not need to enter your address at checkout. Once you sign up, you'll be sent instructions on how to claim your free laptop and we ship anywhere in the world totally free. It's our gift to you. However, there are just 12 of those laptops still in stock. Okay, so trying to get as many of these laptops as we possibly can, folks, it is still extremely challenging to get a large number of laptops. We have 12 of them that are available for the first 12 people that go to ttgoffer.com and enter the code TTG121. So you'll get the 45% discount. You also get the brand new free laptop. You included get two small private study group sessions, okay, where you guys can ask uh, moderators and member uh, the teaching moderators. You can ask them questions, help speed up your learning curve. And you'll also get access to my Head Start workshop that I, me personally, will be hosting where I'm going to help you find your trader identity, discover what trading strategies and investing strategies work best for you based on your schedule learn how to identify the current mistakes that you are making that's giving you troubles and then how to avoid them. We'll go over real guidance on how to grow a small account and some real world strategies for those of you that work full-time jobs or have a very busy schedule. We're going to go over trading styles and strategies that will work for you. And last but not least folks, everyone that joins here tonight gets a double your money back guarantee. I'm so confident in our ability to help you guys become successful that everyone that joins TTG gets a double your money back guarantee. That means as long as you go through our courses, pass the quizzes and attend one study group, that's it. That's all you have to do. Do those three things. And if you do not make the 1197 back at least once during your membership, then at the end of your membership, I will give you double your money back. I'm dead serious guys. I'll give you $2,394 if you do not make the 1197 back at least once. Results matter at True Training Group and it's your results that matter, nobody else's. It doesn't matter if I sit here and say I made a bajillion dollars. If you lost money, then our platform is failing you. You are joining True Training Group because you want to make money. You're not joining True Training Group to watch other people make money. So our platform needs to be able to help you accomplish your goals. That is why we base the money back guarantee on nothing other than your P and L. You're going to pay $11.97 to join. Let me make this crystal clear for you. You'll pay $11.97 right now to join True Trade Group. If in 12 months you do not make that $11.97 back at least one time after going through our courses, quizzes, and attending a study group, you actually have to utilize the platform you're subscribing to. Give me a little bit of effort. And if you don't make the 1197, I'm going to give you all your money back plus an additional 1197. So I'm going to hand you back $2,394. I can do that very confidently because we've only had to refund 2.41% of our members since 2016. 2.41%. That's how many of our members we've had to refund. I tell you that not just to prove how infrequently we get the refund request, but also prove to you it is real. We've never denied anyone of that refund that has asked for it, that completed those three tasks. So you just have to go right now, guys, ttgoffer.com, enter the coupon code TTG121. You do not need to enter your address to get your laptop. You'll get a welcome email that will give you instructions on how to claim that free laptop. Okay, you'll get instructions on how to claim that free laptop once you guys subscribe. Okay, you do not need to enter your address, but you must enter TTG121 coupon code, click apply code, and that'll get you guys the discount. You'll get the free laptop. There's 12, there's 12 laptops. So as long as you see a laptop in your checkout cart and know that you're getting one, there's only 12 of them that are available until midnight tonight. All right. If you have questions about the membership folks, you can send a text message to 786-505-4221. Again, that's 786-505-4221. Lowcoin says, I'm up 30% since I took just the classes. I learn every day listening in chat and I work 60 hours a week. Star Lord says, you guys can just sell the laptop. It's got to be worth at least 300 bucks. 
<laughs> yeah, you guys do whatever you want with the laptop. Use it to trade with. Give it to your kid for school. I don't care. Sell it on eBay. It does not matter to me. Okay. The next 12 people will get themselves that free laptop. You don't have to enter your address. Like I said, after you subscribe, you'll get a welcome email that gives you instructions on how to claim your laptop. All right. So again, guys, if you have questions, send a text. Do not call. Send a text to 786-505-4221. All right. As long as you see a laptop in your checkout cart, you know you are part of the 12 people and you will get a free laptop. All right. What platform is used? Rambling Rick, you use whatever platform you want. Okay. You can use E-Trade, Webull, Thinkorswim, Charles Schwab, Lightspeed. Does not matter. Okay. Interactive brokers does not matter. Fidelity. You use whatever, whatever, wherever you have an account. If you don't have an account, I would recommend E-Trade, TD, or Charles Schwab. I think those are great for beginners. Uh, Aryan says, how much do we need to invest with? I went over this question earlier. Somebody else had asked it. Listen, we've had members join True Training Group with just a couple hundred bucks in their account, right? We've had people that, you know, have started with just, you know, a couple hundred bucks in their account. Oh, I also forgot. I also forgot. Did I mention? Okay, because I forgot we're doing this at the end of the month. Did I mention that anyone that signs up before midnight, you guys are also going to be included in our new $5,000 giveaway that's happening at the end of the month. Okay, so everyone, every new member that joins during the live stream, you guys get your name entered into um, a giveaway at the end of the month where we're going to be giving away 5000 bucks. I forgot to mention that. Okay, but that's for people that just sign up during the live stream. Your names will be entered into that giveaway. All right. All right, folks. So there we have that. All right. So again, ttgoffer.com. All right, guys, I'm going to move on to my next segment here that is called If I Traded It. All right, we're going to move on to a new, our new segment called If I Were Trading It. And we're going to go over where I think these stocks that I'm going to cover with you, where I think they are going to go so let's go on over let me share my charts and let's take it from there okay guys so first one up is going to be amd okay first one up is going to be amd all right so AMD is one of your semiconductor stocks. Now the semiconductor stocks, guys, these are, these are cyclical stocks that are not going to do well in a recession. Okay. That's why these stocks have gotten really, really beaten up. Okay. Just AMD alone has gone down significantly. Okay. AMD has gone down significantly. Um, Oh, wait. So, all right. So let me, I'm going to do AMD and then we got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do six. Okay. So we're AMD and then we're going to cover five others. All right. So your semiconductors. Okay. You had a warning from Intel in June that warned against weak PC and smartphone demand, which means that there will be lower demand for semiconductor chips. You also had uh, Micron come out, which is another semiconductor, warn against weakness in smartphones and weakness in PCs. And that caused um, another, you know, looking for weakness in uh, semiconductors in general. Okay. Semiconductors will have a hard time in a recession. All right. But I love AMD for the long term. And AMD had major support down there in the low 70s. You can see AMD is a ticker symbol, A-M as in Mary, D as in David. You'll see this major support level back here in the end of 2020, the beginning of 2021. And you can see we have just bounced ourselves off of that level, okay? I think that it's very possible you can see a little bit more of a relief rally in some of these semiconductor names, but eventually I do think that we go a little bit low and I think you see AMD into the high 60s, okay? Everything that I'm going to base my trades on for tomorrow are going to be based on if the SPY gaps over 382 or if the SPY gaps down and we're around 379.50 or 380. 
If we're above 382 tomorrow off the open, I'll look for potentially a little bit more of a relief bounce to follow on from today. And then I would look for AMD to move up into the into the high 70s. We're already back to 75, probably gets to 77 or 78 if the markets continue higher tomorrow. All right. So next, let's go into and let's talk about GameStop. A okay, GameStop will be the next stock that we're going to talk about on our list. And this is not just a stock that, um, you know, if I traded it, that's the name of this segment because this is a stock that I am trading and I'm also still currently in. Okay, this is one that I've been in now for going on almost almost two weeks now um, on GameStop. Okay, so I shorted GameStop on June 24th. Okay, right there at $140.20. Stock starts to fall off away from this 150 level. You got the 200 day moving average sitting there as well. We took profits, we reloaded, we took profits again. I've now reloaded again. Okay, I've reloaded now back up to a full size position um, on GameStop. And that's because I wanna see GameStop break beneath this support level. Okay, this support level is where I think we need to get break underneath. And I think that we're going to, because when you take a look at this, the last two times that GameStop got down to this 115 support level, you see how quickly we bounce off of this level. We bounce off this level very, very quickly. That shows aggressive buying in front of that level when the stock price reverses very quickly like that off of a support level. Now that we drop down into that support, the stock is just sitting here dead, right? There's no bounce off of this level. Look at this. We're just sitting on this support level with no real aggressive buying stepping in at this level. That leads me to believe that the buyers at this support level are getting tired, that the buyers are getting satisfied. And then if this level breaks, I think GameStop drops back down towards 100. So I'm back into this trade, was relatively weak today. Okay, this was relatively weak. I've already, I, we already have a lot of profit on this trade because like I said, I've been shorting it since the 24th. I took profit, added back. I took profit again, added back. Okay, so I'm looking for GameStop to break this support level and then drift its way down because if this level breaks, I think you get like three or four red days in a row. If this support level breaks, and I think all your stop losses will trigger on some longs and you get this little drift of a move to the downside. Okay. So that's what I'm kind of looking at there. That's kind of what I'm thinking regarding GME. All right. Next stock that is up on our list, okay, is going to be a cheap little penny stock that everybody has been talking about lately, all of my small cap traders, and that is EVFM. Okay, EVFM. Oof, this is going to be a tough one. Yuduak Akan Atuk. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Forgive me if I did not. Welcome to the Teachy family. There's now just 11 of those laptops left. Guys, remember, if you want the laptop, it's totally free, but there's only 11 left. As long as you see one in your checkout cart, that means you're getting one. You go to ttgoffer.com, you enter TTG121 coupon code. You don't have to give your address. Once you get, once you sign up, you'll get a welcome email. There will be instructions on how to claim that free laptop. All right. And then don't forget, guys, that you double your money back guarantee if you don't make that membership fee back at least once. I'm giving you your $11.97 back plus an additional $11.97, giving it all back to you. All right. Giving you double your money back. Okay. So we're going looking at this EVFM. This stock actually, in my opinion, today did some very constructive consolidation. Okay. All right. EVFM, in my opinion, held an important support level today. And if you guys take a look at this, okay, if we take a look at this, you see the support level that starts to come into play. You guys see that? Okay. How do you get, how do you get a laptop? Ruben, you, you get a laptop, okay, by just being one of the next next 11 people to join True Trading Group. You do not have to enter your address. When you sign up, you'll get a welcome email. That welcome email will have instructions on how to claim the free laptop. Guys, remember, if you're a member of True Trading Group, just call, do we actually send out free laptops and free electronics? If you are a member, 
you can just type yes or no. Do we or do we actually send out free laptops? You, can, you guys can just type yes or no. You guys can just type yes or no. Yes, for those of people maybe think that no way I'm actually going to get a free laptop. You actually are, <laughs> but only the next 11 people. You guys can see right there. See all the members talking yes. Yeah, you guys all have yours. <laughs> Everybody's already got theirs. All right. Okay, so back to EVFM, right? So you see the support level sitting here on EVFM. We had a, a, a big pullback day there on Friday, but then the stock did a very nice job of reversing and holding that level today. Okay. Did a very nice job holding that level today. If this stock gets over 120, I think you can see a significant move higher on EVFM. Okay. So let me say that again. If you get through this 120, okay. If you get through this level right here, I think you can see a significant move to the upside and probably get back up and test 150. I do. I, I think this thing can get back up and test 150 if it gets over 120. And then if this thing gets over, listen to me, I'll, I'll tell you this. If EVFM, if you see EVFM up at around 130, 135, and you see like 275 million shares on a daily candle, okay, you know, 300 million shares on a daily candle. If you see that kind of volume through 120, this stock has a chance to move significantly. This stock could go to $2. So I'm looking for a high volume break over 120. A high volume break over 120 kind of confirms the breakout. You then look for 120, 115 to be support. You would take profits off in front of 150. And then you look for them for a move higher. You have a gap fill that would take you to 165. So maybe another piece of profit off at 165. And then I would just say, you look for this thing to get back to like 225, 235. So I, I like EVFM long. I don't usually trade socks that are this cheap, but I like this trade long. I do. I like this trade long, especially, um, especially if we can get up over the one area. Okay. So I like EVFM long, get over that 120 with, with a high, with an increase in volume. I think you've got upside there, folks. I do. I think you've got upside there. All right. Next, next stock that is on my list of if I traded it, which this one I did not trade, but this stock had, a, had actually a, a pretty big day today. And this is Carvana, a stock that is extremely popular amongst the social media platforms because of its large short position. Carvana is very heavily shorted. All right. Um, the stock is putting in a bit of a double bottom at 20. Okay, a bit of a double bottom there at 20. A nice increase in volume today as well. That's a strong volume bar. That's significantly more. We had 20 million shares traded today. The last five consecutive trading days were less than 15 million. So you had a, an above average, um, above normal or above average trading volume today for Carvana. But let me kind of reiterate this again, guys. I kind of think that today's action in, this, in the markets was just an algo driven buying into tech names after you know treasury yields really came down i don't know how, how long that this this move higher is going to last that's why i'm so interested to see what's going to happen tomorrow i just think that today in carvana i just think it was short covering i just think shorts were taking profits today in carvana i don't necessarily think it was a lot of like you know heavy investors or, or really strong buyers I just think that you have this stock has been shorted very heavily all year. And I just think that this thing is down near it's all, you know, well, not quite near it's all time lows, but it's at your pre pandemic, um, your, your COVID low, right? You're at your COVID low, which is the low twenties, right? Your, your low from the COVID low was the, was the low twenties. And then now you're back to the low twenties. So all I think this really is in Carvana is shorts that have been shorting this all 2022. I just think that they're taking profit in front of the COVID low. And they're saying that, you know, listen, is, is Carvana, 
you know, really as valuable today as it was at the height of the COVID pandemic when the entire economy was shut down. And I just think that's a great place for shorts to be taking profit. And that gave you a bit of a pop today on the stock. I don't necessarily think it's a pop that we can trust. If this does move higher, I would not look for Carvana to go anywhere past the mid thirties. I think between 32 and 36, 32 and 35, and there's a lot of resistance up there on Carvana. And I would actually expect the stock to pull back if it gets up into that range. So for Carvana, not necessarily something that I like long-term, but could there be a quick trade in there with short covering? Yes. But I would not look to, to hold that position for very long because once the short covering subsides, I don't know if there's going to be enough buying pressure in there to move this stock higher significantly. So I would say look for that maybe just to get up into the mid thirties. All right. Next stock that we are going to be talking about if I traded, this is another one that I did not trade. And this is another small cap that a lot of people are talking about today. And it is FFIE. FFIE. Well, I'll tell you this. Huge volume day today, but unsuccessful in getting over a major, okay, a major resistance level. All right? You guys can see here very clearly. I'll draw it out major resistance all year right you guys see this resistance here all year huge volume today we got right up to it and then pulled away close under the 200 day moving average i don't read that as a bullish candle on ffie if you get another if tomorrow you get a day where the stock pushes back up to six dollars then you know I'll, i would like this a little bit more but I don't like the way that the stock closed today. I don't like how this is the heaviest volume bar the stock has ever traded in its history as a public stock or as a public company, as a stock. And it was unable to break above this resistance level, even with the heaviest volume bar the stock has ever had. So that kind of leads me to believe the stock is going to pull back away from $5 and maybe get back down to $4 or $4.25. All right. And then last but not least, the last stock of if I traded it segment is Roblox. What a move for Roblox. All right. Roblox with a very big day today. Roblox has regained a major support level. Okay. So you can see back here, you have support on Roblox. Okay, you had support on Roblox back there in March. Then we broke beneath it in April, and then you'll see that this became a level of resistance ever since. You can see that for two and a half months, the stock could not get back over that $36 level. All right, could not get back over that $36 level. Today, you got a strong, clean breakout over 36 with an increase in volume. This is a significant breakout candle today for Roblox. I would look now for Roblox to find support in the mid 30s. And Roblox does have room to get back to around 45. All right. I do think that Roblox does have more room to the upside, especially if tech continues to move higher. As interest rates continue to move lower, there could be a little bit more room there on Roblox. But again, I'm being cautious with longs in general because my gut tells me that today's move in the market was nothing more than just an algorithmic buying of tech as treasury yields came significantly lower. And I think that, that a specific percentage drop in yields, treasury yields, I think triggers some algorithms to buy technology stocks. Technology stocks move higher today. And when technology moves higher, it, it tends to pull up the rest of the market because it's the largest component of the S&P. I want to see what happens tomorrow. Do we get above 382 on the SPY? If the answer is yes, I like Roblox to 45. If we gap underneath 32 tomorrow and we're back to like 379.50-ish, 
then I would say watch for probably a pullback in Roblox back down to the mid to low 30s. But I wouldn't look to short Roblox because Roblox is one of the re- one of the stocks that's more relatively strong. I look to short the weaker stocks, like the semiconductor stocks are weaker. Um, you know, GameStop is significantly weaker. Those are the stocks that I would look to short if the market stays underneath 382 tomorrow. And then I will also go after spy puts if we stay underneath 382 tomorrow as well. Okay. So there you have it, guys. All right. And that wraps up our last segment there of if I traded it. All right. So there you have it, guys. All right. There it is. Now, first, I also want to make sure that everyone is fully aware about our trial. Okay, I want to make sure you guys are fully aware um, with our trial because we do have a seven day trial that's with your training group. It's totally free. You don't need your credit card or anything like that. Leave your credit, put your credit card away uh, for the trial. Um, it's seven days, full access, okay, to our chat room. And you guys can see what the platform is all about. You guys just need your name and email. Now, weekends and holidays don't count against your trial. So you get a full seven trading days with us. Just go to ttgthree.com. Again, that is ttgthree.com. Again, ttgthree.com. If you guys want to join us for our free seven-day trial. Now, if you go through the the trial, you're not going to get the laptop with a 45% off. Okay, you'll get 35% off if you decide to become a full-time member, but you're you're not going to get the free laptop. The laptop... And the 45% off, that's for members that are going to join here today, right um, right here with the TTG121 coupon code when you go to ttgoffer.com. Okay, that gets you the 45% off, that gets you the new laptop, and that also gets you access to the Head Start Workshop hosted by yours truly. Let's make sure you guys start your, your new membership off on the right foot, right? Avoid any of those costly mistakes in the beginning. Don't dig yourself the hole. Let's start you off on the right foot and you guys can join me for the Head Start, uh, the Head Start workshop. That'll be this month as well. Okay. All right, folks. And don't forget the double your money back guarantee there as well. And you have 11 laptops left. As long as you see one, you are getting one. All right, gang. So there you have that. All right. What I'd like to do now, folks, is uh, let me see. Okay, what I'd like to do now for everyone that's still on the live stream here, guys, listen up carefully, okay? That concludes the education part of the live stream. We talked about the overall market. We talked about, you know, why tomorrow is such an important day to be in chat with the Fed minutes. We talked about why the month of July is such a huge month um, that I I really don't think that people should be hoarding cash right now on the sidelines. I think now's the time to put money to work um, and why July is going to be a huge month. That's going to dictate really what the markets can do the rest of the year. We've gone over bunch of different stocks that a lot of people are talking about. I told you how to trade those particular stocks and give you guys some ideas on how you can make money on those names. That concludes the educational part of this live stream. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend about five to seven minutes and I'm going to actually show you the platform that is True Trading Group. So if you are not interested in a membership to True Trading Group, you can sign off now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Right. So if you guys want to see the platform and see all the tools and resources that you get access to, allow me. Of course, you guys get access to our chat room. Now, remember, everything is included for the one price. You do not have to pay extra. Okay. You do not have to pay extra to get access to any tools or resources that are on our platform. They're all included with that $1,197 price point. Okay. So you get our chat room where the mods and I share our screen. We're live on the mic. We're talking to you throughout the day. We're there from pre-market to after hours. We got the mobile app that will give you notifications whenever a moderator enters or exits a trade. Okay. And you've also got the two private study groups. The two private study groups are where you are going to be able to get some individual attention from one of the pro traders at TTG to help speed up your learning curve, ask questions and go over some topics. Okay. That you're having a hard time with. You also get Benzinga pros real time newsfeed. Now I told you earlier, the TTG platform has about $5,000 worth of tools on it. You get access to all this for free. You don't pay extra for it. The Benzinga newsfeed, if you went to Benzinga, it's going to cost you about, okay, 
11, excuse me, it's going to cost you about $1,400 a year. Don't do that. It's free with your membership when you pay and just join the 1197. Everybody welcome Peggy. Peggy's the newest member of the group. There are now just 10 of those laptops left. Everybody welcome Peggy. Everybody welcome Peggy. Guys, 10 laptops left. As long as you see one, you're getting one. And don't forget, you have the double your money back guarantee to protect you and to hold ourselves accountable because your results matter when you join the TXC platform. So that Benzinga news feed, you get that included with your membership. Trading views, premium charting software. That'll cost you a few hundred bucks a year. It is included with your membership when you join True Trading Group. The Trade Ideas Scanner will make sure you're focused on the best stock store on the day. This will cost you a few hundred bucks. It streams live on our platform every day for free. You also get a, um, a simulator. The simulator lets you trade stocks and options with fake money, but with real-time data so you can practice implementing what you are learning in the courses. This simulator is used in universities across the country and would cost you just under $1,000 a year. Do not pay that. It is free with your membership to True Training Group when you pay the $1,197. You also get our own proprietary scanner that lets you scan for crypto and you can build custom scans like Finviz Elite. You even get dark pool data and unusual options activity. Information that used to only be available to professional traders is now at the fingertips of the TTG fan. This is how we level the playing field. And this is how we help you make better decisions. You also get a full performance journal that actually tracks your trading and gives you statistics. You can see what you're doing wrong. So you know where you need to improve. A social sentiment scanner will scan through Reddit, stock twits, and Twitter and tell you what ticker symbols are being mentioned most on those platforms so you can stay ahead of the crowd. Analyst ratings on any stock you're interested in so you can see how many analysts have a buy, sell, or hold rating on a stock. That can be helpful when you're making your trading and investing decisions. You do not pay anything extra for that. A watch list every day where the mods are going to publish what stocks they're watching and how they plan on trading them. And then you have all of our courses. Guys, the courses are a simplified yet expanded upon version of what I learned when I worked at the Fund in New York. There's beginner and foundation courses. There's advanced courses, options, swing trading, trader psychology, crypto, you name it. We've got it. It's all in text and video. As a matter of fact, hey, Joe, do me a favor, Joe. Can you post a link to our syllabus, please, in the chat? Guys, listen, Joe is going to post a link to our syllabus in chat. You can click on it. You guys will see what you will learn as a member of true trading group okay you guys can click on that link it'll show you our entire syllabus so you can see for yourself all the courses and topics that you're going to learn when you guys join the teaching membership listen there's no upsells for courses guys there's no pro or vip courses they're, they're all included they're all included when you guys pay the 11.97 okay then on top of the courses in addition there's nearly 300 hours of workshops. These workshops are like how to grow a small account, how to trade work in a full-time job, how to resist FOMO, just to name a few. All right. And then you can attend all these workshops live when you become a full-time member, you know, and then they all get recorded. They all get put into the video library so you can watch them anytime, but you can attend them live and you can interact with the mod. You can interact with members throughout the whole session. It's time you guys invested in something real, folks, something that really has a chance to help you reach your goals. Now, like I told you before, I can't promise you that you're going to be successful. I can't guarantee that, you know, you guys are going to kill it. But I can guarantee you a real chance at learning the skills necessary to become consistent. And I can guarantee you that if you do not make the 1197 back at least once, that I will give you double your money back. So if you, if you go through our courses, our quizzes, and attend one study group and do not make $1,197 back at least once by the end of your year membership, I'm going to give you back $2,394. That is how confident we are in our ability to help you become successful. That is how much I stand behind the platform that we have created because the platform of professional style of education with professional tools and resources that can give you information to help you make better decisions, that combination drastically increases the chances of success. And I'm confident enough to offer you double your money back if you are able to do those things.
Not to mention, I see the results that our members have with about 78% of our members renewing their membership. You got to ask yourself, would 78% of our members be renewing their membership if they were all just losing money? You got to ask yourself that. Why would they renew their membership? They might have to be seeing success to, to want to renew that membership. That's why I'm confident enough to offer you guys that. Now, chances are you're not going to need it since we've only had to refund 2.41% of our members. But it's there to hold us accountable. It's there to protect you. You just have to be willing to go through the courses, quizzes, and attend the study group. I'm not saying you got to do it all in 30 days. You have the entire year to do those things. It's there to protect you. And the next 10 people will get themselves a brand new free laptop. As long as you see a laptop in your checkout cart, folks, that offer is good till midnight. You see it there. You're good to go. You just enter the TTG 121 coupon code. You do not need to enter an address for the laptop. You'll get a welcome email with instructions on how to claim the free laptop. All right. You'll get instructions on how to claim it. And then don't forget, you've got the Head Start Workshop that I'm going to host to help you guys get started off on the right foot. Okay? And there you guys have it. Okay, gang? That's it, guys. Thanks for joining me here this fine evening. I hope you guys learned something from these lives. I'm going to be back in chat with my fam tomorrow. Don't forget, Fed Minutes come out at 2 o'clock. Um, I'll be live on the mic with my team at 2 o'clock. When those Fed Minutes come out, I mean, we'll be live 7.30 a.m. when the market's open. But... At two o'clock, the Fed minutes come out. So you guys want to make sure you get your butts in chat or at least be on the mobile app so we can make sure that you guys are, are always fully aware and up to date with what's going on. And if there's anything in those Fed minutes that can give us some insight into whether the Fed's going to give you 75 basis point hike in July or if they're going to maybe drop down and give you 50. If, they, if there's some insinuation that they drop down and give you 50, markets can move higher. If it still seems like 75 is a full go, then that can give you a little bit more downside in the markets as people fear rising raising rates too much into the you know what it seems like now the inevitable recession that is underway all right so folks like i said if the recession is in fact here right now that's actually a very good thing and i think that the markets will be able to recover a lot faster than people even thought if the recession is already here now is not the time to be on the sidelines hoarding cash guys markets sell off going into recessions markets recover during them Go back and look at every single recession that we have had. Go back and look at 2008, 2009. The market sold off in 2008 as we entered the recession. It went up over 20% in 2009 as we were coming out of it or while we were in it, really. While we were in it, the markets went up over 20%. Same thing happened in the 80s. You got a recession in 1980. The markets went up. Okay, the markets went down going into the recession. They bottomed during it. Markets then moved higher. You got another recession in 81 and 82. That was the double dip recession of the 80s. But guess what? The markets went down going into the recession and then moved higher while you were in it. So if, go look. Just go literally look at what the market did during those time periods. So if, it, if you find out that we are already in a recession now, then the market's going to start to price in the exit of the recession faster than even a lot of people thought. I've been telling you guys for months, I think the market's bottom in July. And this bottoming process that we've been talking about, it is really starting to unfold before our eyes. We got Q2 earnings still to go that I think guidance is going to get revised lower. I think that puts weakness into stock prices. You got the Fed meeting. You got inflation data. You got GDP numbers. A lot of question marks are going to be answered this month. And when the, when the stock market gets questions answered, prices tend to stabilize and can start moving higher. The time is now. It's not a year from now. It's not two years from now. It's not when the market get back, gets back to all-time highs. My opinion, the time is right now. I'll see you guys all in chat tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button if you haven't done so already. Turn on your notifications. I'll see you guys all in chat. Take care, everybody.